This is an installation video for the CS Fabrication Jack Rear Accessory Mount for the Gen 3 Toyota Tacoma. Firstly, I want to show you what you get with the kit and also what tools you'll need to um, get the kit installed. So first off, you'll get, this is our textured black finished one. We also have a raw finished if you don't want it black and you want to get it powder coated another color. This is just the textured finish one. You'll get some actual mount, all welded, ready to go, ready to bolt onto the truck. You will get a um, fire extinguisher mount out of aluminum, a uh, black texture finish to that as well. And it comes with a mount and it comes with some uh, clamps to hold a fire extinguisher. You will also get new mounting hardware. So you have a long bolt, a short bolt, uh, this bolt is for the top up here um, and then you will also get two countersink bolts and nuts for your fire extinguisher mount um, including with the Loctite for all of the bolts and caps for all of the mounting holes. Okay so the tools you'll need to get this installed done is a five millimeter Allen wrench this is for the countersunk um, bolts for the fire extinguisher mount. Um, you will also need a 13 millimeter socket that is also for the fire extinguisher mount. A 10 millimeter socket for the little bolts for the top. And this will also be used to take off the stock bolt that's in that place. So it's a dual purpose. Um, we will also need a 19 millimeter socket um, for uh, these new mounting hardware instead of the bed bolts. Um, for the bed bolts, you'll need a T55 uh, Allen wrench socket, whatever you have to get those bed bolts out. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do to install this is you first want to mount your fire extinguisher mount to the actual stand. Uh, if you do this on the truck, you can do it on the truck. It's just a little bit uh, tricky because it's a very tight location um, to get in there. Um, when you install it, you want the red pole pin towards the bed of the truck and the jack mount plate. So you just put that in there. You put your washer in. You put your bolt or your nut on the back of the bolt. Get it started and then grab your other one, get the other one started, and then tighten it down. You want to um, keep it evenly spaced across the top just to make it look good. And then I like to always just push it down towards the center of the, tr the center of the bed as much as possible. So I don't usually like to put it up here. I like to keep it down here. It makes it a little bit easier installing it like all without the, or not on the truck too, just because you can, the bolts will self-align it being straight if you just push down evenly across the whole thing. So once you get the first bolt snug down, you want to switch to a uh, wrench um, to tighten the rest of them down just uh, for the, the purpose of it's very, very tight in that location. Um, so if I can just point that there. It gets very tight where those are, so you can just stick a wrench down there and tighten it with an Allen in the front. So, Okay, so I first want to go over some things before I mount this on the truck, just going over the fire extinguisher mount up here, of course. Then we have this plate for a two-ton Pro Eagle off-road jack. It bolts right into these holes. And then we also have this plate down here, which uh, was built for a pro tank, 20 pound tank, uh, which is 30 inches tall and an eight inch diameter. Um, so if your tank is, if an air tank that you have is that size or smaller, it will fit to this. Um, if you wanted a, if you wanted to mount your tank in this, um, there are little um, clamps around the back that I can show you that a, uh, a big uh, clamp will fit around this and uh, will hold the tank very secure. Uh, bolting the Pro Eagle Jack is just these four bolts. 
put a bolt washer nut on it. Very simple. But as you can see, there's a little, uh, there's this little gap down here. You can feed a uh, clamp, like a, there I got something. So it's basically like one of these clamps, but you'd have to get it a lot bigger to fit around your actual tank. And it just feeds right through that hole, around the whole thing, so it can't slide out. Uh, it's secured on both sides. And so that's what it is on that back side. So let's go put it in, in the truck. Okay, so the first step in installing this is we have to pop this bed bolt and this bed bolt on the passenger side out of the bed. So I got them already in loose. So I just pop this guy out and pop this guy out. And we're going to use the hardware that came with the kit to reinstall it. So those two bed bolts are gone. And then there's a bolt up here, which I think is a 10 or 12. I had something up here, so I'm not sure what it is. It is a 10 or a 12. It's like this style bolt, I think it's a 10, um, that you take out of here. Um, this bolt, if you had a bed supporter in here, um, might have been like uh, drilled out to a bigger size. So if you had that, you're going to have to take these two out, um, these two bolts out, and uh, pop your tail light out so you can get a nut on the back side of it because this is a threaded um, so if you drilled it out, there's not going to be threads in there anymore, but if it's bare, bare bone stock, you'll have a thread hole here and the uh, kit will come with a bolt to, or a, uh, yeah, a bolt to thread into it. If not, you're just gonna have to get a, get a new, uh, get a nut for this guy and be all good. So the first step for putting this guy in is you want to use the long bolt in the front the short bolts in the rear and you want to get those two hands hand tight okay so once you get those two bottom bolts hand tight you want to take your top bolt with the lock washer grab your socket and wrench and uh, feed it you're gonna line up the hole in there to where the hole is and you want to maybe you have to move it a little bit but you'll then just put it right in and then thread it right in you want to tighten this bolt first and then tighten your two bottoms okay so we got it all bolted down we got the bolt up there in there got all the bed bolts back in um, to tighten them up uh, the easiest way is to use a short socket or a uh, a long socket for this front one, a long socket with a long extension in the back one because it is very close. So if you have the long, it just has to be tilted a little bit so it is really close in there. You can use a long socket up front too, it makes it easier and you can get all the way on it. And then just uh, with an extension, that is a key. And then this one, you just need a extension to a 10 mil. Um, once you have all them tightened down, you got all these caps, just put them on, pop them in um, to seal everything in there. Um, so you have two bottom ones and then the top one up here. And then um, if you haven't put your uh, fire extinguisher mat on, you can do that now. Um, now I can show you why you want the red towards the, the bed of the truck. It's because it won't fit the other way around. Like it just runs into the runs right into there so it's this way it's perfectly uh, accessible so you can pull it and stuff like that so now would be a good time if you haven't to put that on to put it on but uh, that's gonna be it for this um, installation video um, if you have any questions uh, you can contact me on my website in the comments give me a call whatever works for you